हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन आई वांट टू गिव यू ऑल अ क्लियर पिक्चर ऑफ द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस आस्ड इन टीचर रिक्रूटमेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेसिफिकली क्राइस एच एस एंड जी एग्जाम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अ डिस्क्लेमर दैट वॉट ऑल आई वुड डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन ऑल दीज व्यूज आर प्योरली माई व्यूज based on my experiences and question papers and syllabus analysis which i have performed then i have come to the conclusions what all i am going to discuss in this session okay to find out the difficulty level of the questions or to find out which exam is more tough let's first divide question difficulty level we can divide question difficulty level as easy medium and hard if i want to assign the difficulty level among these three exams then i would say gpstr is easy when compared to crais and hstr exam in fact uh, this time in 2022 it was very easy isn't it the gpstr question paper was very easy i feel maximum questions asked in all four subjects physics maths chemistry and biology were from my lectures and uh, they were mostly all expected questions only people who have attended gpstr the gpstr aspirants they will surely relate with what i am telling gpstr question paper was very easy this time next uh, i would put uh, hstr in a uh, medium level exam because uh, it is neither easy nor tough i feel if one will dedicatedly prepare the full syllabus then this exam is easy for such candidate or if you are already in teaching field thus if you are teaching some particular subject say either physics chemistry maths or biology then it will become easy for such aspirant see for example if uh, you are a physics teacher then physics will be easy for you you can focus on maths if you are a maths teacher then maths will be easy for you you can focus on physics same thing for chemistry and biology also if you are a chemistry teacher then you can focus on biology because chemistry you already know right if you are a biology teacher then you can focus on chemistry so hstr will be easy for those people who can uh, uh, already relate to the subjects already if they are in the teaching field now the remaining exam is crais it is having negative marking so i would put it in hard exam category because it has negative marking actually level will be like hstr only the crais level also will be like a hstr exam only but only thing is that it will have negative marking that's why i'm putting this crais exam in hard category actually see a gpstr candidate will have just will have to go to one grade level to prepare for hstr it's same like uh, going from primary to high school and then crais you can say it's like going to college i mean to say the level of hard work you have to put okay the level of hard work you have to increase one level when going from gpstr to hstr and then hstr to crais regarding exam pattern and syllabus of both hstr and crais i have already discussed you can watch that video if you have not watched it i will give the link in the description now what all conclusion i am saying here you can apply this for all subjects physics maths chemistry and biology in fact you can apply it for uh, general knowledge and the uh, english paper also in english paper grammar will be little bit hard in hstr and crais when compared to gpstr okay so gpstr aspirants who are willing to attend hstr and crais exams please don't take these exams lightly you really need to work hard if you want to secure government teacher jobs especially the hstr and crais jobs okay actually i thought that this analysis will really help you all a lot that's why i'm discussing this with you all okay no many of you have this one more doubt the doubt is that are my classes enough 
actually i can understand your problem i can relate to what you are feeling your doubt is actually that is just attending my classes enough to clear hstr or crys see i feel that if you dedicatedly attend all my lectures which i'll be taking if you dedicatedly attend them fully and make notes and then prepare that will be enough but still apart from that you can prepare from books which i mentioned in the other video i have discussed which books to read for all four subjects physics chemistry maths and biology i will give the link of that video in description below you please go and watch that video if you have not watched for maths i advise you all to work out as many problems as possible from those books i think for maths only attending the classes maybe it will not be enough because uh, you should have practice if you practice by yourself then only your speed will increase if you are attending my classes and practicing that is also well and good but in books you will have more and more examples right so maybe i feel that that will help you for maths then regarding physics i don't think you will be going for any book after attending my classes of each particular chapter then talking about chemistry and biology it is same thing i would say here also actually biology and chemistry lectures no uh, you can watch my gpstr classes also because they will also help you a lot for hstr and crys even for physics and maths i would suggest you the same you please watch the gpstr classes they will help you a lot if you have already watched then no problem if you are new to my channel then please go and watch gpstr classes i am sure you will feel happy after watching those classes and of course i will also try and keep uploading classes regularly for all four subjects physics chemistry maths and biology but i will give much a preference to physics and chemistry because i feel that maths and biology is easy when compared to physics and chemistry meanwhile if you all are interested meanwhile you can follow textbooks for uh, biology also because maths people you practice numericals biology people it's better that you keep in touch with the textbooks because uh, sometimes no ncrt line by line it becomes important sometimes especially the high school books okay so this is one suggestion i am giving you all and uh, that's it see don't feel that i am very slow uh, i am trying my level best i will keep uploading the classes as much regularly as possible and then uh, let us hope for the best okay okay then i hope all your doubts are cleared now then all the best keep working hard thank you bye